It's Amanda from I Sew A Lot and here's my new video about my January mates. Oh, I've just got to show you, I've got a little visitor here. This is my cat. Oh, she's so cute. She's grumpy though. And I've just got to show you my January makes. Um, I've got a really big one which I'm really pleased about but I'm going to show you that at the end. So, my first one is, and you all saw it uh, if you watched my previous video, and it is my Paola. I've been told by somebody that it's actually Paola, not Paola, and it's Spanish for Paula, which I didn't know. Um, but it's my red Paola. Oh, got fluff all over it. Um, and obviously I did a quick video about how you can make this in under an hour. Um, I think I made it in 40, 45 minutes, something like that. I've had um, quite a few people on Instagram who have taken part in my challenge to sew it in an hour. And they seem to have been successful too, so that's really good. So when I made that one, um, I also made a black one, which I'm really pleased with because I've been after a black one for ages. And uh, yeah, it turned out really, really good. I put cuffs on it again like I did the red one. And it's classic, I really like it. It goes with lots of stuff. So also my next make, uh, that's by Named Clothing by the way, the pattern's really good, it's really cheap, it's only got, I think, um, a back, a front, a sleeve and a neck piece, so it's really, really easy to put together in terms of PDF, really quick to cut out, so I would recommend it, it's a really great pattern. So, my next make is my Erin skirt, and uh, I've made it from some really, really lovely quality brown corduroy from... I can't remember how to say it, but I think it is So De La Vintage. And at the back, it's stretch corduroy, and it has got actually quite a bit of stretch, which is really, really handy. I like this one so much better than the navy one. Because um, like I said in my previous video, the navy corduroy was not quite um, as heavy with regards to weight. Whereas this has got a really nice weight, so I found I didn't need to interface the waistband that stays nice and firm and the plackets nice and firm, it's not pulling. Plus I also, when I, I, although I cut the size 8, I used a 1cm seam allowance instead of a 1.5cm and, and that seems to have really helped with the fit as well. So yes, I really like it, it's a really really quick make. Um, and that is from the Sew Over It My Capsule Wardrobe um, ebook. And yeah, it's great. I love it. So the next one I've got to quickly get changed for. So just give me a second. Okay, and my next make is part of the Sew My Style Challenge. Um, I've spoken about it before. It is to promote slow fashion, but also it is to promote um, trying to bring back sewing and skills like that into schools, um, because obviously most schools don't teach sewing anymore. They obviously did when I was at school, because it was such a long time ago. But uh, yeah, it's to help um, also to promote bringing it back into schools, which I think would be a fantastic thing to do. So this is the first month of the Sew My Style Challenge and the challenge um, is for throughout the whole year and every month everybody sews the same pattern. There are a lot of pan pattern companies that are taking part and very, very kindly gave the participants um, a discount on the patterns. So the first pattern is Sew House 7 Toaster Sweater version number 2. There's also version number one which comes with um, a kind of funnel neck and it's got a deep waistband around the bottom as well. Um, but this version has a boat neck which is slightly high um, and it also has, I can show you, a split at the side. The back hangs down lower than the front. Um, I have to admit, this is not a, sil uh, a silhouette that I would generally choose because it's quite loose. The fabric's really nice, I spoke about it before, and it was from Fabworks, and it's their organic um, loop back sweater fabric, which is really, really nice quality. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really nice. I really, really like actually where the shoulders sit, because I always have trouble, because I've got quite narrow shoulders, and obviously this wouldn't help anybody who doesn't, but the shoulders sit 
in a really nice position they're really narrow which I found is rare I like the neck piece because it's not an extra piece it's actually folded down and then stitched onto the shoulders which is really good but the only thing is it is quite wide and generally in terms of choices of silhouette I would choose more fitted but I have worn it quite a lot I think it looks nice with jeans and I've worn it you know where the months have been colder with my pajamas in the evening watching telly and it's a really great sweater for that I think if you made it from a lighter weight sweater knit it would have more of a drape and the um, size width of the body wouldn't show that much so I, I would like to give it another try I do really like um, and I don't know if you can see it very well but I do really like the slit detail I think that is really nice and I was quite pleased with how that turned out so yeah I really like it and I think um, next month I think it's a cardigan and I have no idea how you say it I think it's something like Sawanu, Sawani, something like that but it's a named one and yeah so in my uh, January plans video I'll be talking a bit more about that okay so my next make which is the last one is the one that I'm most uh, pleased about so I'm just going to get changed and then I can show you okay so just a minute okay so this is my last make and it is of course the Closet Case Files Claire Coat now I'll stand back so you can see and I am so pleased with how it turned out and I'm going to show you the inside and I might have to get a bit closer actually it's got snaps on the front which I really really like and obviously you can wear it with the collar down as well as up which I think I quite like as well I think that's really good and in the inside which I'm really pleased about because I was really worried about my lining but I think it looks really fab really fab um, I managed to get some piping well I didn't get some piping actually I got some bias tape in this really really lovely pink which I think really matches the uh, coral of the lining and yeah I really like it the adjustments I made um, were when I finished sewing it the sleeves were shorter too short for me so I have added some cuffs and what I actually did was I took two inches because I didn't want it to look like just a random piece of fabric that I'd sewn on so I actually uh, took two inches off the sleeve and then I cut an eight inch uh, cuff piece and folded it in half and then stitched it together I managed to still get my lining to work okay I didn't adjust the lining at all um, but I think it fits um, pretty well across the back it's not pulling or anything and the sleeve length's really good when I'm moving my arms so yeah I also um, and I spoke to Shona um, who is on I think it's she so show show see ah, I don't know so um, also I was really worried that my uh, wool was going to be too lightweight and so what I did was I had some brushed cotton left over from my Carolyn pajamas and so I interlined all of my coat pieces um, and for those of you who don't know interlining means that you cut exactly the same piece from a lining fabric and stitch it together as if the pieces are one so then when you assemble the garment they're treated as one piece so I did that with the brush cotton I thought it would add weight and also add warmth so um, that worked really well but to be honest because there's quite a lot of pieces to this coat it took me a long time to stitch it all together the actual assembly of the coat is really really straightforward and I think if you are looking to make a coat and you haven't made one before this is a really really good beginner uh, project the piping that's not part of the pattern um, I also oh I don't know if you can see I also added I've got to take it off anyway because it's so hot added a hang loop from the same um, bias uh, and it it turned out really really well and I'm really pleased with it and yeah 
The snaps are really, really good as well. Take a bit of getting used to, but I really like them. I like the way that the, pat the uh, pockets are really concealed. That's really nice. It just hangs really nice, a really good shape. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And that's one off of my Make 9 list. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. That's all of my uh, January makes. Like I've said previously, I'll be back soon with a January plans video because I've got a bit of a haul as usual and I've got a few patterns that I really want to give a go this month coming. So yeah, gonna get that out to you soon. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you, bye.